You see here, kid? You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes after or what came before. You just gotta bend your knees, take a deep breath, and jump. And you might think, what if I fall? Well, what if you don't? What if you fly? Welcome to Any Given Sunday on this beautiful Sunday. It's your boy Steve, and I got my man Lamar with me today. Yo. Today we got recording artists um, representing Northeast D.C., Chaz French. Welcome to the show, man. How you doing, man? What it do, baby? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. What it do, man? Thank yes, you. Thanks for, first and foremost, thanks for having me. Definitely. Thank you for coming out, man. For Thank sure. you for coming out, man. Yes, so we're going to jump straight into it, man. We're going to take it all the way back to childhood. We're going to start right there. God damn. All the way back, man. We want to hear everything. So um, tell us how it was growing up for you, man. Growing up, your mom was up in the church. Um, You know what I'm saying? Damn, man. Yeah, man. I do, I do oh, my do research, research, man. I do my research, yeah. man. For real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's yeah, get mom's, into it. <laughs> mom was in the church heavy, still is. So it was kind of tough. In the sense of like doing what I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, as a kid, you always going like when somebody tell you not to do something, you gonna always you keep your hand on the stove. In a sense, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So, it was tough, but I actually love church. That's why I learned how to make some of my best music. Is is the church? Is right. why I came up with certain certain melodies or certain records that I make that are repetitive because I think that's what church is like. You go to church every Sunday and you're going to hear the same song that you heard right, right. a week before, even if it's one of them. You know what I'm saying? Right, so I right. always try to make music that when people hear, they never get tired of it pretty much. So, right. you know, then when I, you know, got old enough to test the waters, I wouldn't even be able to, I wasn't even able to listen to secular music. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But... When I when I was old enough to test the waters, I did what I had to do, and it, I think it made some of the best music that I ever, it made me make some of the best music I ever made. Right. So, being that you wasn't able to listen to like that kind of music, who mm-hmm. do you, do you remember the first like rap artist you ever listened to? Remember the um, first Lil Wayne. Like, it's Lil my Wayne? favorite rapper to this okay. date. Okay. So, Lil Wayne um, is the because he's the goat to me, bro. I will right. argue people down about that. I think right. you know, like was the first rapper that ever made me listen to something and just be like. Yo, this guy is crazy. <laughs> is different. Yeah. And then that's not the first album I bought though. Mm. What was the first album you bought? Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi. Okay. That's my, you know. Okay. If you know me, you know Kid Cudi is one of my it's favorite man. artists. I got three artists that if you know me, I will I will fight for these people at right, all right, right. at all points. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kid Cudi, Frank Ocean, right. Lil Wayne. I said three and it's four. And Amy Winehouse. Like I will I will fight for them people. You know what I'm man, saying? Amy, man. And Whitney Houston Amy, as well. Yeah, Amy, she's she's Amy dope, different, man. right? Yeah, she different. You yep. could hear like, you could the, feel, feel like the pain. The, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yes, yeah. sir. It's, that joint it creeps it's me different. out every time, bro. You be like, why do I feel like this? Yeah, for, <laughs> <laughs> why? for like, real, man. <laughs> crazy, right? So, how did you like bridge like church and rap? Like when you first like kind of got into it, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? How did you balance those two in transitioning? That's a great question. When I um. When I realized that I can listen to a church song and a quote-unquote secular song mm-hmm. and a quote-unquote love song and a da-da, and still get the same feeling, right? that's when I, you know, I tell people, my bad, music is music. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't look at my shit as to try to categorize it. I right. think being it, I think when people put, when people uh, try to box shit in, that's what fucks the music shit up. Right. I think music is literally just music, bro. Like, you create what you want. Right, right. That's like, a good, yeah. Even when people say, like, on my newer shit, they be like, well, you don't sound like how you did on certain, on certain, on uh, Happy Belated or These Insane Time. It's just like, well, that's because I understood how to use my voice as an instrument. Ultimately, that's what my right. voice is. I'm just adding on to, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. I think we overthink a lot of this shit when it comes to music, bro. Like, I think a lot of shit is... Mm-hmm. It shouldn't have a, it shouldn't be categorized. Music is music, bro. right? Like that's a great outlook on that. And you got like, look at it. You got motherfucker like Lil Nas X, <clears throat> who made a country record. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And it's the biggest record of literally of all time. 
mm-hmm. as far as numbers go. So it's just like it's no don't let nobody box you in with this shit. All right. All right. So what would you like? I know you don't put yourself in a category as far I, as you I know music. music. You just you're an artist. You're <laughs> I an artist. Music, yeah. Bro. Like it's 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 the uh, in a good and a bad way. It's the only thing I've ever limited myself to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I took a break. We can say that now. Yeah, I took a break. A long break. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to make that be known. I took a break to figure out who I was as a person, and right. it always led me back to music. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I took a break for a reason, mm. and we not going to get into that. Right, right. But um, I had to figure it out, and it always came back to music, and I feel like I made two of the best projects I made in a long time. Right. And I can stand on that and I can literally look people in their face and be like, when this shit drops, you're going to get the Chaz French that you wanted. Right. Because I decided to, to you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. that was always my biggest, my, my biggest issue. I feel like I was making music to please other people and I forgot about myself. Right. And yeah, you come from the church, man. So that's, you know. <laughs> I forgot about myself, but yeah. I finally started that's just, how it is. it's nothing wrong with Doing what the fuck you want to do. Right. Especially when it's benefiting yourself first and then the people that you decide to keep in your circle. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's a different conversation for after the album drops. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> so, you remember your first setup? Like, your first recording gig? Like, yeah, how you, yeah, was it, bro. Was it at your house? Like, Terrible. How was it? My first, my first shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we was... Nigga, that shit was terrible. But, I mean... It ended up being what I'm like. I like record. I don't like big studios. If you when I first got signed to Motown and I went to one of the biggest studios that everybody go to in L.A. Right. I ain't produce what I wanted to produce. Right. It was just for the look. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think if you truly like you can you can make records how, how, however whatever setup you you know what I'm saying. Right. But it's like if you look at basketball players that still go to the high school gyms to after hours out. to work out and shoot and mm-hmm. da da it brings you back to that place of a hoop a hoop right? a hoop yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying so you could put me anywhere right and I'm so. still going but yeah. certain things I prefer you know what I'm saying like yeah. I'm, I've made my best records in studios that was no bigger than this room right you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. fuck the perception aspect of how people think you're supposed to make music right just make it <laughs> niggas be like, oh, we in a big studio, and, da, 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 da. and that don't mean shit. Half these niggas do that shit. I know niggas that book studios just to, and they gonna be mad if they ever hit this. But it's like y'all booking studios just to get it on camera. Uh huh. Just this you, perception is what's killing this shit. Right. But that's a different subject <laughs> as well. Right. Now, I tell people all the time, like, studios are, are vibes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> we you just can make had good this music anywhere. Yeah. We just had music. this conversation in the studio yeah. the other night. Like, mm-hmm. it's, the, it's, it's it's what you create, bro. Right, right. It's, it's right then, like, like I said, I've made some of my best records <clears throat> in the smallest rooms in the fucking world. Right, right. Nobody there. Right. You know what just I'm saying? Just vibes, right? <laughs> just 10 people at yeah. most. Mm-hmm. I made one of the biggest records I feel like that people are going to hear soon three days ago with probably <laughs> yeah. eight people in the studio. Facts. Not even eight. Yeah, exactly. Well, half of it was done before I got there, so it was about, it was like four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And it's just vibes, man. Right, it's just, right. that word is so overrated sometimes. Like, oh, it's the vibes. But no, like, it was literally like, when you got the right people around you, it's no telling, it's no limit to what you can Bring create. Bring a different energy, too. Right? Yeah. And then right. when you got people around you, they'd be like, nah, that ain't, I ain't. See, one thing about me, I ain't scared to tell people, I'm like, nah, I'm going to stick to this mm-hmm. until it's not working. And then I listen to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? A lot How was pe- that as a musician? Because, I mean, you got a lot of people in your ear, you know, probably, you know, listening to you. I actually don't yourself. at this point in my life. At one point. <laughs> at one point. At one point. I did, yeah, and you know it didn't work, right? Clearly, right. That's why that's why we had this conversation in a sense, right? But now it's just like I'm doing what I want, and 
the people that I am involving in my circle, I'm actually been like, you know what, you're right. Right. That's fine. Yep. That's cool. You know what, bet. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Yep. But now I'm going to be the nigga that if it don't work, I'm going to tell y'all motherfuckers. Yep. Nah, but it's going to work because guess what? I ain't asked for none of this shit at this point. So it's just going. It's going. And this is uh, actually like as far as musically, mm. it's the happiest I've ever been with any music I've ever made. Like with the project that we got right now, mm -hmm. put to the side, Am I saying too much? No, go ahead. Oh, uh, no, it's a project. No, no. no, for real though. No, real. It's, I mean, it's it's it seemed like the most organic album. I mean, in a sense of just how everything correlates and how organic the message is and the storyline and um, you can it's 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 more it's not it's like visual mm -hmm. even though it's an audio. Yeah, you know what I'm saying right. So you can kind of like you know how like when nigga rapping about some real shit, you mm -hmm. can like feel it. Right. And then you be like, man, that's crazy. Right. Like I get the same vibes like with ESTG or some shit. You know, he like nah, you know, shit right. that went down. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can see that. I nigga. know this nigga I knew know it. Yeah, right, 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 right. for sure. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't flu gazy, you know. So it, it, that shit, it just seemed real authentic. So and it's it's also one of them projects that I know off back that I haven't dropped music in so fucking long, right? Right. But I've also figured out, <clears throat> in a sense, my fans. They want to hear a complete body of work right. from me, right? And that's my fault. Like, I, like, I, I, how about this? Mm -hmm. You hear some Kendrick shit, you want, no matter how good the song is, you want the whole fucking album. Right, right, right. <laughs> that's yeah. what you're going to say, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For real. With Drake, and no, and whatever, they going to take it how they want. <laughs> Drake don't have to drop an album ever again. He good. Drake can drop. Mm -hmm. A, a, a single and be perfectly Drake, fine, bro. Yeah. That's what you want to hear from Drake. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's yeah. what you... You want to hear Drake putting other people on and... That, I mean, and listen, maybe I shouldn't have said that because they want to take it and make it how they want. But I, I just feel like with niggas like Cole, with mm -hmm. niggas like Kendrick, with certain people you want to hear a complete body of work because... Mm -hmm. The story... It's a story line They give the you... Door. And then they right. give you something that is just kind of like... And not saying that Drake doesn't. These people, people, people gonna probably misconstrue my words, but Drake drops yearly, in a sense. Right. We don't get from Kendrick and Cole yes. all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm Barely. saying? So, so when like you, a, a song, a song won't hold us over. Right? Yeah. You know what right. I'm and that's I think that's the category that people have put me in is my first two projects, and they hate, I don't I don't like my third project, and I can say that proudly. But that's a different situation. True colors? I do not like true colors. You don't like it? Why why? Because know, why I it like was it? supposed to be a whole different album. Okay. Politics. Right. Right? So uh Happy Belated and Dean's Take Time connected so well. Mm -hmm. Nobody had anything negative to say. And I switched it up from Happy yeah, Belated. True, true colors was more it's like commercial. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. super and, yeah. and it didn't do any anyway. But it didn't have the effect. That happy belated and these things take time had. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like people got they people got yeah. my name tatted because of them two albums. People got them albums tatted tooed on them. Yeah. The effect was completely different. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I you you live and you learn. Right. It's good that you translating like that, right, to your artists, because the artists that you name that influence you, Amy Winehouse, Kid Cudi, like yeah. the fans that they have are like loyal fans, fans yeah. that would get their name like it's at it. But even so new niggas good. like yeah. Jid, I'm a Jid fan. <laughs> oh yeah, I, just because I went on tour with Jid is not. I'm yeah. not just saying that because I went on tour with him. I'm a Jid connoisseur. Right, you right. know what I'm saying. Jid I, is dope, I, I think a, Anderson Pack. I think yeah. it, like we. Mm -hmm. I think music is in a great place. Corday. Right. Fucking, it's a lot of people that are in, in that I look at and be like, bro, these niggas are actually Smino, like S you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Smino oh, super fire. Yeah, it's fire. Crazy, and I man. think that I never got to put myself in that position to mm -hmm. where these people can say the same thing about me, right? Musically 
in the sense yeah. of now that I'm making the music that I want to make, I'm coming for everybody. Like, I'm like, pause. Damn, that was wild. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really trying to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm Earth Gang. Every, like, it's, mm -hmm. it's people that I listen to, and I'm just like, man, these people are, you can tell they are in that space of making music to where it doesn't matter if they're signed or not. Facts. Their label can't tell them anything about. And mm -hmm. I didn't know myself when I first got signed to the point where if a label say you need to do a record like this or you need to do a record That's like that, do. Mm -hmm. then this is what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, like, when people hear finally the, the project, is going to be like... Well, you can name, let's name the project. I mean, mm -hmm. Finally Free. Finally Free. Yeah. Finally Free. That's, That's fitting, man. We got two, yeah, That's we got, yeah, yeah, we got, we got two projects, but Finally Free no later than June. That's fitting, And the man. single is coming no later than April. That's all right. Congratulations, man. That's all right, finally man. Finally Free. <laughs> For yeah, sure. Finally free. That fits. And, that and, fits. And, I, and then also I want people to know that just because I you put that shit out, I got dropped from the label. Mm. We're going to get into all the like, labels, yeah. all of that I stuff. I got dropped from yeah. the label, not because of me, though. Okay. So how what's what's good with labels? Like, you know, being signed, you know, as much as you can, you know, talking about it. When you don't know how, yourself, it, they run it. Right. They run it. It's that simple. And it's nothing bad, you know. It mm. is what it is. The label is a bank, bro. All right. Facts. People mm. don't understand that. Right. It's a bank. They loan out money. Yeah, you gotta pay bank, it back, and you pay it back <laughs> mm -hmm. with interest. With interest. Right. That's what a bank does. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. But I mean, sometimes we need it, sometimes we don't. Yeah. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. I shout out to the label who dropped me all the time. Shout out to Motown for mm -hmm. sure. You put me on the map, but not put me on the map how I was supposed to. Right. Right. So, I should be a way bigger artist than when I am. But guess what? It's my fault. Cause I timing, man. Yeah, timing, yeah, just yeah. it's accountability though. Yeah, it's, it's not my really fault. timing. You get it's accountability. Mm -hmm. It's making sure. That I did. I should have. I should have been more uh, in tune into my situation, right. and I wasn't. Just like Emmanuel said, you know, he went in tune with his boxing career. Yeah, yeah. You know, now he he got new management, so. I mean, it's, it, that's on every level, right. you know, in any professional, you know, when you are your own business, I think that's that's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you self-employ because of what your talents are as a boxer, as an artist, as a basketball player. You got to know, you got to know some certain things, certain elements, especially, you know, dealing with businesses. Yeah, but, also, I feel like with these labels, they should, um, <clears throat> they don't know it all. They don't know talent until you punch them in their face. They go based off of algorithms. algorithms. Yeah. Yeah. And that <laughs> and even that is flawed. You know, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's certain I don't know, bro. It's that that that's, <laughs> that subject is so you we would we we would need a whole different type of podcast yeah, to really get that. into yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. They they just do, I don't know bro <laughs> ah it's so it, cause you don't wanna you don't wanna say too much to where to right. where it's like I could be a hundred like like music is it's not like the NBA like it's 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 the most opinionated sport in the world mm -hmm. music is the niggas mm -hmm. I say Lil Wayne my favorite rapper it's somebody that can say Lil Wayne is the worst rapper in the world and think that somebody that I think is the worst rapper in the world is the best. Right. Who am I to tell somebody that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's music is the most opinionated sport in the fucking world, bro. Right. Like, you can't just... Pull up stats and be like, he scored yeah, 10 Yeah, points. not like, like, like yeah. you can't pull up stats like the NBA, like yeah. the NFL. Right. Like, because it's niggas who got billions of fucking streams who can't sell out a show consistently for right. shit. Fact. No. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's just well, they got billions of streams and they can't sell. They out. can't sell out. Right. They can't sell <laughs> shit. They 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 just streaming. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Right. And, but you got all these streams and you can't. Like I look at a nigga. I I respect a nigga like Russ. Russ is doing tough, fucking mm -hmm. yeah. arenas, bro. Right. Arenas. Oh, I can't drop in a minute either. And he's doing, and it's just like it's a it's motherfuckers that are probably stream more than him mm -hmm. that can't do half of what he does does when it comes to a show. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, 
So this shit is not like it's weird, bro. Yeah. It's super weird. Definitely. Definitely. It's super weird. Right. But I mean Go back to Are you good? It is what it is. Like shit. it is what it is. I mean, so I think we like kinda skip past like oh, we sped through like the early process of like, you know, growing up, you know. Mm-hmm. Really dive into being in uh, Northeast and Temple Hill and the trajectory, just Bro, like the environment. Was, you got to just explain. Mm-hmm. It we all got different, like I said, we all got different upbringings <clears throat> in the D.C. and yeah. Maryland area. So, like, you can listen to another nigga's story. Like, for me, I grew up in a, in a I, I, I didn't get to experience the D.C. culture mm-hmm. until I was out my mom's house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had my first North Face until I was 18. Until I was old enough to buy my own North Face. Or to, you know, because niggas was getting killed for that shit. Niggas was, I didn't have my first pair of phone posits until I was up. I grew up in a time where niggas was getting bodied for wearing certain shit. Steep text and all that shit. I couldn't indulge into that shit. Mm-hmm. I never been to a go-go until I was 20-something. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. But also from the heart and soul of D.C., pretty much. You know what I'm saying? I, my mama still live there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, So it's like my story is different. Right. And then I lived in Texas for six years. When I dropped out of high school and da-da-da-da-da-da. Uh, with KK, right? Yeah. yeah. So, like, it, my story is different from a from a, a, a Shy Glizzy. My right. story is different from a Trail. Hmm. My story is different from a... Cause them niggas grasped that culture. And you more sheltered and you and I was on more sheltered. Own. Yeah, right. and had yeah. to figure out what it was. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. my first time in a club, I was 21, 22. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like right. Right. I didn't really get to bask into what DC had to offer at the time where I feel like the culture was at its peak. At its peak. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you got niggas that's from VA and from Maryland. That probably got yeah. better stories about a go go than a nigga that's actually from the city. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. but then also you've been in the city with me. You know how they respect it. You know how they. I feel real yeah, like you <laughs> know how it is when. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's also because of my family roots as well. Mm-hmm. So my, like I said, I think that's what they was trying to push. For true colors, <clears throat> and it didn't really work. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I think yeah. now that when people hear "Finally Free," they will get they will get me for what DC is now. Facts. More than you know what I'm saying? Like it's a difference. Yeah, it's a difference. Instead but, of mm-hmm. my bad, go ahead. No. Um. So being like, so your mama passed it, right? Yeah. So being, you know, so how does how does she feel now about like the music? music? The, just you know, I mean that she always profession. gonna be stuck in her ways, mm-hmm. and that's fine. It is yeah. what it is. I don't make music for my mom. I can say that, and just you know what I'm saying. I make music for me at this point. Mm-hmm. Now that I'm, but when it first started, mm-hmm. you know, she was like, "Oh wow," and then in my mind is like, "Mom, I've been telling you I was gonna do. Me- this is why I dropped out of school. Right? Like I was gonna do music for years, but with parents, they don't see it until yeah, till it happens." Yeah. Especially when you're younger, and well, even and even when I first got signed, my mom was still telling me to get a job. Yeah, and well, I'm like, Mom, of, do you understand that I have the right. second yeah. biggest condo in Silver Spring right now? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. well, you still need still need a backup plan. You still need a plan B. You still need a and it's just mm-hmm. like, no, I don't. Right. I think our parents like, and I don't know. I don't want to, you know, speak to a head, but. My my mom is kind of the same way, and I mm. think the time frame they grew up in, it's, it's like di- security, see, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I never got they, they upset with my right. mom yeah. until I'm kind of like, Ma, this is what I I, I have mm. kids, right? I would never do that to my kids. Yeah. I would yeah. never if my if my if if they come to me or whatever you doing, mm-hmm. who am I? I can't control you. Ultimately, when you get to a certain age, it's just like you're gonna do what you want to do. Right. At the end of the day. And basically, your mom hasn't still hasn't accepted. Still hasn't accepted, and I'm yeah. thirty. 
You know what I'm saying? So, but then it, but that kind of makes it fucked up to me because when niggas get Grammys and plaques and da 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 da, then what? Right. Then can you ever, then, and that's just, that's not even just with moms. Mm-hmm. That's just with a lot of people, even relationships I've been in in my life. Right. It, that, it comes down to people don't believe it until they can see it. And then if it doesn't affect them fully, then they still kind of downplay it. Right. So it kind of sucks yeah. with this music shit. Because it's not like the NBA. When a motherfucker make it to the NBA Regardless or the NFL. Regardless the bench or it doesn't matter. It's, yeah. it's, it's lit. <laughs> I right. can look up your, I can Google you <laughs> yeah. see what you made. When the motherfucker gets signed it's, uh, and it's just like. Nah, that's for a lot of niggas. But I, when I'm telling my mom, I'm like, bro, I'm no first rapper ever mm-hmm. signed to Motown. Mm-hmm. And that's documented. Right. That right there alone should just be like history. Right. History in the fucking making. Right. Soon as I tell you, mom signed the Motown, and you was on the phone when I did it. First rapper ever. I could still, no matter how left shit went with it, I can still stand on that and be like, no ever, no no rapper that signed. I was signed before all them motherfuckers. Look up another rapper that was signed before for me to Motown. You can't. You can't. It's a hell of a. It's a hell of an accomplishment, right? right. No, and I'm I, I, yeah, I like, and I yeah. felt so proud about it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But then when shit go left, I don't know. That's why this album is what it. These next two albums is what it, it is. It means a lot to you. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 because I made it from, from mud. Like mm-hmm. I did this shit on my like. I did this shit. Niggas expected me to quit. Right. You know what I'm saying. People expected me. Nobody know what the fuck going on with me right now. That's the thing, mm-hmm. Bruh, When I got signed, when I when I my last, uh, let me tell you what fucks me up. I COVID fucked my shit up. I was on tour with Corday overseas, and the shit got fucked up. They shut down everything. A month after that, I got dropped from my label, yeah. and had nothing. So for me to make the music that I made in this process is, it makes me fucking happy as fuck, bro. Mm-hmm. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> right. Like, I listen to this music and be like, yeah, I can stand on this. Right. Easily, I can stand on it. Nobody gonna argue me down about this. That's dope. That's we dope. having good arguments in the studio. Facts. Mm-hmm. This <laughs> song is a is a miss. Yeah, like we're having arguments. We that haven't like, a, he hasn't made a miss song since I've been in the studio with him. And we've made about that's all right. 10, 12 songs easily. Within the last cup, like after the album is done. Right. Yeah. Describe like the vibes of like kind of what you going, what you kind of. Just be. Is, is, the, the person that you meet in person. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the me. music. That's to the expect. music. Yeah. I used to have to hide that person. Mm hmm. Niggas used to have to be like, you know, like, I'm my personality is. It, it could be too much sometimes, right? And I can't admit to that. But the music is like, it's describing that, and the music is so good, it's making up for certain shit. It's just kind of like, mm-hmm. damn, bro, you you was you got dropped from your label and da 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 da, and you went missing for it. You ain't dropped music in three years, and this is what you came out right. with. For sure. We standing on it. Standing on it. <laughs> man, I'm excited, I'm, I'm, man. I'm, I'm excited. You haven't heard it? The new, the, you, I'm talking about the joint that you about to drop. Yeah, you never heard it? Nah. Oh, yeah. Hey, bro, hear that shit. Nobody here. Hey, heard that joint. Hey, heard that joint. Nobody here. But I'm um, going back, like, um, like, uh, back into your career before you opened up in uh, Broccoli City. How was that? Or Broccoli Fest? I did Broccoli City two times. And the first time I did it, I was like the first person on stage. Still killed that shit. Mm. The second time I did it, we was a little deeper into the um, to the lineup. And it just showed. And, but that was around True Colors. But everybody still wanted to hear Happy Belated and DJ Take Time mm-hmm. shit. Nobody. I mean, certain records niggas wanted to hear, but... Yeah. 
So the more like the more shows I started to do, I realized like people really gravitated towards my first two projects in a way that I never expected it. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. no people people hit me was like, hey, hey, what was his first tape? I've listened. I forgot it. I got a new phone. Yeah. <laughs> like no, somebody hit me literally. We was in the studio and I was like. He was like, yeah, I, I, he's like, he holding the baby. I got to, like, what's the it's name of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, hey, bro, here you go. <laughs> but so, it's, no, right. it's so crazy because, like, it's the same feeling that I got now. Mm-hmm. Like, when I made them first two projects, I knew them shits was undeniable. Right. Like, I got that feeling like, I know these shits is them. Right. When I made my third project, I was underwhelmed. And not even to downplay it, like it was a bad project. Mm. It just wasn't me. Like when I listen to this album, bro, I, if I if I got a 14 hour studio session, right now <laughs> we listen to that bitch for seven hours. Cause we can, I could pump four records out. Right. And, yeah. And get the fuck up out of there. I'm listening to this project cause I want it to be these projects, because I wanted to be what it what it is. Mm-hmm. Like when you hear them, it's just like you have no, you have no choice but to love them. Right. And so I'm not doing it for the money. I'm not. I'm doing it for something that my kids can look back and be like, damn. I want my kids to look at me and be like, damn, my dad. My, like you <laughs> think about how Marvin Gaye kids probably look at him. Do Marvin mm-hmm. Gaye got kids? Do, Do we know kids? that or not? He got kids, man. Yeah, he got, yeah, man, he got kids. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, look at how Malcolm X kids look at him, or look at how certain people that yeah. made history, like, I want my kids to be able to look back and be like, You did that. Yeah. Right. My, my father did this shit. Right. That's You know what I'm saying? Like, ultimately, the money gonna come. Right. That shit easy. Thank you so much. So, um... What's your process, man? You just said you can knock out four. You just not you, you pushing them out. What's your process of like recording, man? What you what you what studio can't do's like and don'ts for you, man? Can't force it. You can't can, force yeah, it. Yeah, you can't. I mean, mm. I got I got a lot of shit that's already written. Mm. But if I drink too much, that's what I got to slow down with when I come cuz I'm not a smoker. Mm. So I wish I was a smoker so that I can just float through certain shit. Right. But the other night, we did one song and I did too many shrooms. I can say that because the name of the song is Shroom Trip. And that's probably going to mm. be one of the... Toughest joint. And I got it out of the way mm. after the fact, after I... Calm down. <laughs> got, like the, I, the highness wore that a little bit. Hey, <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit. Enough. Enough to actually like... To like, record the joint. Yeah, because at first he was like, I'm, I was like, nigga, you're not saying that <laughs> one word. <laughs> He was like, hey, look, no, I got to tell you, dog, <laughs> fuck that. I'm going to tell the niggas that shit. I came in, right? And I was, I, I'm like, this nigga got to be high. Because yeah. he's through the roof. <laughs> then this is how I knew he was high. Because everybody in the studio, like, stopped when he said this shit. He said, I'm David Ruffin. <laughs> when he said that shit, but the way he did it, he was like, I'm David Ruffin. I was like, oh, yeah. He's he's, yeah, like he's gone. <laughs> but listen, I did too many shrooms on accident, bro. Oh yeah. Like I didn't sp- I didn't intentionally take too many shrooms. Like I'm just <laughs> popping them. Like I'm, oh, you was like, and I was oh. the only one on the shroom. <laughs> then he mad because he's like, so y'all want to take no shrooms? I'm like, no, nobody want to take no shrooms with me, bro. <laughs> okay, with me, bro. <laughs> no, he's like, okay. <laughs> hey, bro, when, that, when them bitches hit me, bro. I had to get out the room for a second, bro. Oh, man. Hey, bro. <laughs> I had to like, bro. I'm like, I'm outside, like, bro. yeah. I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> we talking about the, we talking about the, uh, the Tavy Ray drop, right? He's like, hold on, I'll be back. He just ran off. I was like, Sometimes like, he ain't coming back. <laughs> I was like, he ain't coming I back. I came back and finished the song though. <laughs> so you had recorded half of the song, mm-hmm. and but I didn't realize how good the song was. That's the thing. Okay. Okay. He was like, y'all wipe this shit? I was, and I'm like, let's wipe this shit. Right. I go out. First thing I said when I got outside, the studio ain't no bigger than this room. Like, right. He was like, the studio's so... I'm this like, shit back bro, there. This shit is back. Like, <laughs> I'm floating, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can admit that. Like, I'm floating, bro. I'm like, yo, y'all don't see that? Y'all don't see how big this room is? Right. <laughs> so I leave the room. 
Because now, we arguing about... The intro. The intros and all that shit. Uh-huh. So I said, I got to get the fuck outside. <laughs> Need some fresh air, As soon as I get outside, I said... <laughs> I said, I'm high. <laughs> and I looked around, and the first thing I said was... To be loved. <laughs> to be loved! <laughs> right? Because I felt like that, right? So here go the, here go the crazy thing. I get to my sister's house afterwards, uh-huh. and I give my brother some shrooms. Tell me why this nigga comes outside and says the same exact thing. Uh, to be, that's how good them shrooms was. Bro, they was they was like bro, that. Bro, <laughs> bro, bro, he got to sister crib. When I tell you I can hear this nigga from like three blocks away, yeah. there's no exaggeration. I'm like, is he in the crib or is he outside? He was like, yo. Open the door. <laughs> like, I was on so, like, like, I was like, oh, this nigga crazy. And bro, it's like 12, bro. Like, oh, so it's late. Yeah. Like, I said, hey. Nah, so, so uh, with the sessions, pretty much is, I got a lot of shit written, too. You know what I'm mm. saying? A lot of times I go in there and just, I can just freestyle a lot of shit. Mm. Easily. But my best shit is when it's written. But I'm not going to force that. If Like, when he first came in the studio, when I, I was rapping some shit that's written, and he just, you know it's good if somebody mm-hmm. like, bro, say this for another time. Right. You're turned up right now, bro. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? So I think my thing is, like, I got to learn how to balance certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to learn how to, I make my best shit when nobody's in the studio. Bro, if it's more than 15 people in the studio, at that point, I don't think nobody should be recording. That's a that's a party at that at that right. point. Right. <laughs> and you don't want all them energies. It's that's too many energies. Right. That's too many energies, bro. Like, mm-hmm. it's so many energies sometimes that it's like you don't know if somebody in here hating on you. You don't know if somebody mm-hmm. in here wishing bad that you don't finish this record. You don't mm-hmm. know if somebody in here is plotting on you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to focus. Yeah. Right. You can guarantee, and, and especially when you're in a small studio. Yeah. Like in LA, I did a session one time. It was so many people in there, and I didn't even realize it until I came out the booth. And I'm like, that's why I ain't. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I ain't. That's why it's not coming out how I want to. Mm-hmm. That's just me, though. Right. Some people can strive off that energy. Some people can strive off a thousand people being in there. I know I can't. Right. So, um, we're talking about energies and people, right? Mm-hmm. So, being a rapper, being an artist, I'd say, mm-hmm. um, how is it maintaining, like, relationships and stuff like that with people? Um, you know. Hey, bro. <laughs> it's so tough, especially being in a position I am, mm-hmm. for me, because in my mind, like, I'm not a regular rapper. Like, I've been on multiple tours. I've been, to, like... So a lot of times when you have certain relationships, it comes down to people feeling like they got to compete with you or they got to make up for certain shit or they got to... Mm-hmm. And it's just like, bro, I be around so many people. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's just like if I if I, if I I choose you to have any type of relationship with, respect it and let's keep it pushing. Right. It don't nobody else matter but, but me and you at that point. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like... A lot of people don't know how to accept it because even motherfuckers who been with niggas and that's been signed before and shit, mm-hmm. it's a different world. We all got different worlds. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've dealt with artists that were bigger than me and didn't know how to handle the shit. So I can only imagine how a motherfucker... Right. You get what I'm saying? Who, And this shit is that close for me right now. It's mm-hmm. that close. Like, it's deals that... Has been turned down. Like it's, yeah. I don't know, bro. So much. It's so much hey, to say when it comes to this talk shit, bro. About it, man. There's so much to say that come with this shit. It's just like you gotta, you gotta know what you're getting yourself into. <clears throat> and if you can't accept it, sometimes that's fine. Right. That's perfectly fine. Look how many niggas that's been to the NBA, NFL, da 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 da, made they bag, made they money, but they couldn't handle it. I'm trying to push myself away from being that person that they can say he had it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He had it. I needed this break, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I needed this break. Yeah. 
I don't never want people to look at me and be like, oh, he had it and lost it. Because I never lost it. Right. Like, I'm still making... I guarantee when this album come out, niggas gonna be like, this is best shit. And then we got another one in the cut. All right, so... <clears throat> how many songs do you feel like is a is a good, you know, representation of a project or whatever? What y'all, what y'all? All right. <laughs> Like I said, it's what we arguing about. It's not arguing about. Not mm. arguing about. I don't know what it is about this one song he want me to take off. Mm. I don't think I should. So mm. for this project, I'm not even looking at this bitch like an album. or I'm looking at this shit just like a representation of what the fuck mm -hmm. I've been going through. Like, if it was up to me, mm. it'd have been 18 songs on that bitch. <laughs> yeah. So you want it longer, you must want it shorter. Yeah, like you want it longer. But I just project. feel like yeah. I feel like the I feel like you know the eighteen songs will work, mm -hmm. but it's the first I, project back. It's out, the first though. project back out, so yeah. I don't want to. So we want to know what work. If we pick these collective of songs that I feel like will work, mm -hmm. then we know what the trajectory would be for the album. And That's even true, the, but even then the, it's it's only it's only. It's only it's like one. It's certain songs that sh have to go on there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> To set up the album, cause if we listen, see, this, look, this is not, no, this so listen, it's only one song. It's only one. Oh, it's song. only one song. That that song but we yeah. just okay, the, okay. but but then also, what I'm saying is, it'll make it easier uh -huh. for the album. Okay. The album songs can be cut down. The album can be. So you trying to add a song to cut down other songs? No, what I'm trying to do is, like the album. I think if we put the correct songs, oh, we got it pretty much. Right. I'm just giving him a hard time. Right. That's really what <laughs> <That's good. laughs> We got it pretty much. But it's just like, I just know, like, once this shit drops, I just know I wanted to be able, I wanted to be able to get certain features for this next project. Okay. And I want these songs to be so good for the project I'm putting out now that it, nobody has no choice but to give us what we want. Right. You got no features on the next one. But no, we got we got we got features on there. Okay. But sure. yeah, I just think that the, I mean, this project is an element where I feel like we getting commercial, but you also getting authentic, all, like the authentic side of mm. it, the authentic. But the right. commercial jumps that we got though, <laughs> they, we got three. The quote unquote commercials mm. wasn't made to, to be, be in, commercial. Yeah. yeah, they just so happen you just to know sound. what's gonna happen when them motherfuckers drop. Okay. I don't think I don't think. The commercial songs that he that we want to put out, mm. I don't think that he gonna... has done a song like this on neither one of them. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's one of them. It's songs that like when you hear, it's kind of like Is we know chance? this wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and no, then no it's bullshit. like we know this wasn't in, made to mm. intentionally be yeah. a radio record because right. we not even shooting for that. We just making good music and like, all right, bro. If we come in back out for the first project, <laughs> this is what it is. Everybody getting smacked in their mouth because right. it's like you can't. It's nothing that you like. Whatever, whatever you consider what hip hop is right now. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, music is music. I feel like I finally tapped into something that is me. I made my lane to where it's like, damn, it's nothing this motherfucker can't do. No matter how bad of a picture they try to they try to paint on me mm -hmm. after the you know whatever like I I did what I was supposed to do right and did it well yeah, and I guess the number one thing that he displayed I think in this tape would be versatility it's very versatile mm. but oh. it's also still sticking to my Who roots he is, yeah. Right. yeah it's yeah. it's not like oh he switched the sound up no it's, mm. it's, it's like knowing his background it's like <clears throat> It's a, it's a, it could be like a spiritual tape right. in a way. I think that it'll, uh, on one side, help a lot of people, but on the other side, it still reveal, you know, good music. Right. Yeah, it's gonna like it's some ride wave shit on the low. Like right. you know how like some people niggas niggas a niggas sing ride wave like it's goddamn God's church song. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's, but that's the point. <laughs> I think it's like it's certain records that you gonna hear and be like, damn, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For real, yeah. this is what type of talking time. that shit though. Right. You're definitely talking like, that this shit. This is what type of time you want. I mean, even from the first record, bro, I could play you the first record right now. Uh -huh. 
And you would be like, I'm glad. I'm glad he 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 said that, right? Right, right. <laughs> we argue about the first record at first. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> argue about that based off of how good Troom Trip came out. Yeah. Because we didn't think it was gonna come out that good. Mm. No, I ain't gonna say we didn't think that. I didn't. I ain't gonna lie. He didn't. You he think didn't. it was one, probably but hands yeah. were sweating. I was, bro, listen. <laughs> let me tell you, like, I was high, no, it was, it bro. It was to the point where he was like, bro, I can't do this. Just, just I literally was up. like, fuck this record. I was like, like, let's just, I'm like, fuck it. So then he came in there. It was just like, all right, let's listen to the album. Listen to the album. Mm-hmm. I was like, there it go. Let's let me, go. Go back to, let's go, go, back to, go back to the record. Yeah. yeah. And get it done. Mm-hmm. Did it feel different when you um, approached it the second time? Versus yeah, because the first? I calmed myself down, bro. Mm. I didn't realize how high I was, bro. Right. Until I'm like, yo. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm fucked. And then it's like, I'm the only one that's roomed up. So mm. I didn't have nobody to look at and be like, you feel this shit too, bro? <laughs> I'm in that bitch like, yo. <laughs> I'm asking, like. Right. Here's what it, but you know, that's what, that's why we call this room trip. And I think that even that record, Mm. Has nothing to do about shrooms. Right. It's literally a real record about the shit that I that I that I'm going through. It is what it is. Mm. And when you hear it, it's, it's, you gonna hear it yeah, when this I'm interview is over. I'm yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna hear it. Yeah, I need I need to hear that, Joe. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah, man, that's all right. So you um you you family and relationships, all of that stuff. You have you have kids and stuff like that right yeah so being a father and pursuing you know a career as an artist Mm -hmm. and you know just having a lot of these different like people (sighs) in and out of your life um friendships how does that you know how does that go it it is hard i can't even lie especially especially because of everything that transpired like in the sense of to be dropped from a label Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be a hundred, have to get a job and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it put a little, it put a, it, it, it it's tough, bro. Right. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was tough because I was just, I was, I was always on the go. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you had to slow down. To so to slow down mm-hmm. and have to catch up is crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, had had it not been for COVID, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, bro, yeah, I was yeah. on a twenty. Five city tour overseas, my first time overseas, bro. Like, yeah. with a project about to drop with Motown, a project that I'm. <laughs> and shout out to them because I'm gonna use some of them songs for sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> like, my life was about to change. Yeah, so and I put all my eggs in one basket, and then shout out to shout out to, shout out to COVID in a sense too because mm-hmm. it made me. See who fuck with me and who don't. It made me see uh, who really who really fuck with you. Right. It right. made when me it see like. It, yeah. it made me see a lot of fucking shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, which is that's which is how the album is coming into play. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which is how it finally free goes into what really needs to be said in the mm-hmm. sense of like. You know, niggas, I really feel like people left me for dead. You know what I'm saying? So, and it is what it is. I I don't even hold a grudge no more. I had that point in my life where I was just like, fuck everybody. Niggas really only fucked with me because of this. Mm -hmm. So let me go get a job and see how many people really fuck with me. Right. I can say that out loud and be perfectly fine. You know what I'm saying? Let me go do this. Let me go do this. Let me let me move away. Mm-hmm. Let me da 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 da, and see what really what it really is. Right. Yeah. I ain't so, been asked for features. I ain't been asked right. for none of that shit. Da 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 da. But then, when the project drop, it's gonna be a whole different story. But then you mm-hmm. tell them same people the same thing. No. Mm-hmm. This process helped helped me understand what the word no really means. And a lot of people told me no before. And now I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is... 
shit is a game. It really is. It really is a game. But then it also you got you got to be genuine enough to understand, like to not put yourself in a position to where people can call you a fuck nigga. Mm -hmm. And I can call a lot of people a fuck nigga after this whole process. You know what I'm saying? Mm, like you right. get, you might have to cut some of this shit too, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> 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 Straight like that. Um, so let's go into because I mean we gonna have people that's want to be artists and trying to get in the game. So just speak on not as far as like the label, just understand the business of it. Mm -hmm. How yeah. you making money? How your money moving? Yeah. Not even that. You gotta understand that. Don't 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 get too comfortable with this shit. Don't get too comfortable. Don't uh. Don't be understand that you gotta know when it's genuine and when it's not. Don't sell yourself short at all. That's why I said on in, in, in the end of the outro that time. I said, no, what's the price of selling yourself short? Considered a maniac for being oh so vulnerable this time. Had to get a nine to five to keep on the lights, keep up this fight, feeling like a mm. failure overnight. But I didn't quit the day job, please. So slighted with ease, became a product of what they would call yeah. a Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, yes, like you gotta, you gotta understand mm -hmm. that this shit ain't. If you if you great at it, be great at it, and don't and, and don't expect shit from nobody. Go get that shit. Mm -hmm. And you gotta understand, there's nothing wrong with fucking up. You gonna fuck up. That's a good one. <laughs> People fail to realize yeah. that Kendrick Lamar got dropped from Atlantic <clears throat> when his name was K Dot, and now he just performed at the Super Bowl the other night. A lot of people get dropped. A lot of people do it. Like, you can't. This Instagram shit, this Twitter shit, all that shit, it fucks us up. Cause we perfect. Yeah, 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 and we judge, and we and we look at we look at other people's success, and we compare it to us, and we can't do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially when you just seeing a steal. You know, yeah. seeing. Like, yeah, like you not you just seeing what they choose to show you. Right. Blip, <laughs> literally. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a point when I... That's why I deleted everything off my page. Mm -hmm. Niggas thought I'd... You get to that point, and I was working a nine-to-five. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you you don't want to you don't want to sell people this dream, and they trying to buy it from you, but they ain't got mm -hmm. enough to afford it because you selling them the wrong shit, if that right. makes sense. Nah. Like, you that's giving not. them this... Oh, you, you know what I'm saying? Like... Man, Young Thug said the realest shit on Twitter, on, on um, TikTok the other day. He said, "You doing uh, he said if you waiting for all this shit, you and you saying the prayer for all this shit, stand in line, mm -hmm. go get it." It's a lot of niggas. It's praying. a lot of niggas praying for yeah. this shit, and I pray for this shit every day, right? But mm -hmm. I also got the will to go get it, right? So it's not wrong with. But when he said it, I know what he meant. Mm -hmm. You saying the prayer for this shit, stand in line, right? Go get it. Yeah, that's that don't was just, yeah. To up and coming artists, bro, do not let these labels, your managers, none of that shit. Do not let them people make you feel less than what you are. If you a cocky motherfucker, be a cocky motherfucker. Mm -hmm. If you, a lot of people have a, don't let these people project their insecurities on you. Go get it, bro. If you feel like you the best. Mm -hmm. Be the best. Who the fuck is anybody to tell you that you're wrong? Mm -hmm. Plain and fucking simple. But speak on like contracts and stuff. I don't think people be understanding. Man, I just got my contract, so I got it, like <laughs> my shit was all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, having people around you, like, don't you and your manager should never have the same lawyer. Mm. That's for any situation. Yeah, any situation. You and your, you and your man's got a business together. You yeah. shouldn't have the same. Lawyer. Never had the same lawyer. Facts. Because he he, whoever had the lawyer first is going to be in Yeah, they're looking interest. out his best interest. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be don't be scared to speak up. These contracts is, is made. It, it's not for your best interest. Mm -hmm. Unless you already in position to really go in there and demand what the fuck you want. Right. Nigga, I got signed when I had 6,000 followers. I didn't have no hit record out. I didn't have a lot of a shit that... Niggas signed me basically purely off talent. Mm -hmm. I ain't have no hustle with me. All I gave a fuck about was the music. There's nothing wrong with that either, but... Make sure you got your shit in order. Mm -hmm. 
Real talk. It's it's tough. And, and, and then they give you all this money. <laughs> and they don't tell you that it's really nothing. It should be a it should be mental health awareness in these contracts. It should be fucking they should be telling you how to spend your money mm-hmm. in these contracts. They should be making sure your mental health is good in these contracts. They should be making sure certain things that fuck a lot of us young artists up. Cause we so young and naive, we think a three hundred thousand dollar advance is a lot of money. Well, we can blow through that in six months. Right. Or less. Or less. They're not giving us financial literacy, mm-hmm. especially us black artists. You get what I'm saying? They're not. They they don't give a fuck. So mm-hmm. <laughs> taxes, man, yeah. lawyers, none of that, yeah. none of that, mm-hmm. so none of a, that. It's a front. It's but our mental front. health is, to be honest, that's mm-hmm. the most important thing that they not checking on. Mm-hmm. Cause there's a lot of niggas that's fucked up up here. They don't give us nothing to wear that we're gonna be good. They get, they give us all this money and, and we still fucked up. We still, it's still suicide. It's still this. It's still that. It's still, they not, they not giving us what we really want, what we need. How about that? Right. What we need. But it's a love hate game because we still love this shit. Because it feeds our family ultimately. So it sucks, but it's also. I don't know. Man, that shit is weird. Like it's a, a love hate relationship. It's a love hate thing, bro, mm-hmm. and it sucks. Like, bro, you know how many times I'd be like, I'm done with this music shit. Mm-hmm. Because and you I, know it's a business and it's not like what you And it's not fun. Not I made right. music off fun. fun. I made music off because this was this shit was she my getaway. It was like hooping too, though. Yeah, right. it's like this was my getaway and then now now I'm now I gotta be in this, I'm in this bubble with my getaway. Right. Like I gotta do it on other people. Now I'm terms. fighting my demons in a different type of way. I'm fighting right. my demons. Right. <laughs> that's just, that's made that song last night. Yeah, that's that's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm now I'm dealing with shit and I don't know. It's, it's it's it's. I don't know, but I guess it's. We asked for it mm-hmm. in a sense. Well, no, no. I'm gonna take that back. None of us asked to be here, so we just figuring it out along the way in general. But this music shit is just like I feel like it can be. They could take care of it so much better, bro. They can take care of it so much better, bro. And they. That hey, like they say, it's the devil's playground, bro. Right. So. I mean, I guess. Put up or shut up. <laughs> Another plug for the fans. Put up or shut up. You know what I'm saying? Like you either, if you really want it, cool. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, I know I, I can't quit this shit. I'm too yeah. good at it. I'm way too good at this shit, bro. Mm-hmm. That's. I mean, I don't care if nobody agrees with me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm way too good at this shit. Like look at Michael Jordan. Look at LeBron. Look at all the hate. In my eyes, the best mm-hmm. basketball player who ever did it in my eyes. Mm-hmm. Look at all the hate he get. And he's still doing the shit. LeBron don't have to play ever again. LeBron can retire tomorrow and yeah. still go down as top three. Yeah. Easily. <clears throat> Facts. He's got a championship for every team that he's been on. Right. He, bro, <laughs> look at, bro. What what you think? See, I ain't we never had this conversation. Who's the goat? I think it's an era thing. I don't think it's an ultimate goat. Bro, you don't think so? Mm-mm. What you think? Because I, I was because I'm uh, even when you break it down to music. I can't. Wayne. No, see, that's why I say Wayne. Wayne no. has survived but every so is Jay-Z. era, and that's what I was about to say. No, you, but listen, yeah, right. Wayne has done it in a different way, though. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So that's like saying LeBron has done it in a different way than Jordan and Kobe. Oh, yeah. you know, Jordan has done it. Like, when you look at... When Wayne's, I look, still, Wayne's still giving us verses like he hungry, though. I yeah, mean... But, yeah. No, no, like, you, uh, Wayne's still rapping like a nigga who trying to get signed. I don't... You don't think... Jay-Z has some hell bro, of Jay's, bro, Wayne is still rap. Bro, nah, did y'all bro. hear the verse he just gave Corday? It don't matter, bro. Bro, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's the no, verses that this man is giving that I'm like, yo, why is he still this fucking good, bro? So you don't feel like Jay Z not dropping because he don't feel like it. Jay if J- if Jay Z was dropping right now, Jay don't have to. 
Jay don't give a that's fuck. That's the thing. That's the difference Jay-Z, between Jay-Z, Wayne and Jay Z, though. Like that's the difference between Michael. Wayne and Jay Z. <laughs> Wayne has stop. to drop and Jay Z doesn't. Does <laughs> no, Wayne doesn't have to drop. You don't think so? Fuck no. That's why he's still I going so hard. I don't believe that, but it's just like it's just like LeBron doesn't have to play. But Jay Z is Jordan. In a yeah. sense of saying like, yeah, we this if, conversation now. if I want to, if I want to hoop, I can hoop. You know what right. I'm saying? Because like I can still get these niggas. Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> Look at what LeBron doing this year, bro. I mean, this nigga yeah. is cooking. Yeah. He's doing the same thing yeah. he's been doing for the last eight, nine years but, straight. Yeah. Stat for stat. He got to this year. I mean, he, he, I mean, he got to, to every year. To. Look at his team, though. You know what I'm saying? He is still outstanding. Oh yeah, he's definitely goaded. It's just too easy for him, bro. Once, That's he gets what it is. Point, once he gets more points, he's going to be the best. Be- once he gets the the, the but I don't mo- think it's about points, though. Because it's like this, right? <laughs> no, I, no, I'm going to say it like this. I'm listening. I'm not saying you're wrong. If, like, niggas, niggas, I think a lot of people forget this. Jordan played 12 years with the Chicago Bulls. That's like, true. He got six rings. Amazing. You're right. I get mm-hmm. that. Hold on, hold on. So in 12 years... We know this man for being on one team. For being on one team and being who he did, what who the he hell is of in, a team for one team. But I'm saying in 12 years, and he didn't play 20 years like Kobe. He's not playing 20 years like LeBron. He did everything he's done in 12 years. He came back at 40 and averaged 22. So I'm not even counting. I'm just saying he played 14 seasons. Out of 12, he got six rings, six MVPs, six final MVPs, mm-hmm. ten scoring, ten Here's scoring titles, ten steal leaders. Defensive player of the year. I don't, don't even contest. think LeBron is chasing Jordan anymore. No, I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's an era. I thing. think he's chasing. He Greatness. wants that scoring. He wants that scoring shit. Mm. Yeah, but it's a, that's what I'm saying. It's an era thing though. Because I mean, I give you that. Because I'm like, if Jordan played 20 seasons, where the fuck would he be? I mean, we wouldn't know. We don't know. But I'm saying he's top three in but 12 Jordan, years. But like <laughs> you were saying, yeah, but I, I, we the don't league get back was to the different music, back but then. But Jordan not playing against motherfuckers that LeBron is playing against. Yeah, but you gotta think LeBron is 6'8", 240 pounds. Jordan is 6'6", 110. I mean, two ten, two fifteen. So what do y'all think Jordan got over LeBron? I think he got more heart. I think he got that. I, I hate think he, when this nigga. Right. I think he got that. It I makes think he sense got more though, that. Man. No, I just think he got that more that dog. You know, you know how you know how much of a hell of a person you got to be to go in the locker room and say, "Hey, that nigga talk shit about me." Nigga ain't say shit to you, and then you go out there and get that nigga fifty. And get that fifty, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know no saying? reason. You know, but I think that's and I feel like that's how like I, I hate feel like this nigga right. No, I'm just no, but I'm talking about the album shit. He say something right, and I'd be like, "All right, bro, I'll be right back." But I'm about to go smoke a cigarette real quick. LeBron got everything else, but Jordan ain't letting you beat him. That's just nah, not he, what's he, going he, on. That's true. He not. He, he not. not yeah. but so what's the difference from... Man, let's get back to the music. Man, <laughs> we, got, we, got to, we got all night to talk about this shit, man. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got to change the subject. <laughs> nah, bro, but... I don't know, because in my mind, I still think AI is top five. Of, of, of oh, course. Yeah, yeah, I mean, cause, but definitely. I'm saying... it's See, it's, it's harder to, like... It's... It's kind of like music because you got different genres and stuff like that. But with basketball, it's about physique. It's about, you know, what you can do. Yeah. I think with music is this. We like artists because of what we can relate to. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So certain artists get a pass because if we not getting it from the artist that's bigger than them, if we get it t- from them and it sounds uh, just as good, yeah. right. we straight. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's hard to be... A J. Cole. It's hard to be yeah, a yeah. Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. It's hard to be a Drake. Mm-hmm. It's hard to be like who's in the who's the fourth of the Mount Rushmore? As far as them three. I mean, I think you guys throw Jay in there just cause. Yeah. Nah, that's a Jay and Wayne on a whole different level. Okay. So you and Drake is still So you saying so you gonna say you saying Drake, J. Cole. Kendrick. The Mount Rush, uh, right Rushmore. Right now. A modern right day. Now? Yes. Yeah, J. Drake, yeah. J. J. Cole. Kendrick, Kendrick and Kendrick. who else? Future. You can put Future. You can in put there. Future up. And I just think you gotta yeah. put Future in there because I think that he he, he said the he, contro- he control he control down south music. Right. right. Oh Literally. no! I sh- shut the fuck up, Chance. Kanye West. What are we talking about? Oh well, yeah. But, but I thought. Th- I mean, but Kanye but I is Kanye. with Wayne. I can't. I, I Wayne. think he's up there with Wayne. Wayne. Yeah. Wayne. That's yeah. a different. Yeah, he's a different ball game. Yeah, and then you know like. Cause they, Kanye just making music to make music at this mm-hmm. point. It's not like you know he, he's a billionaire. Yeah, it, these other niggas is like rapping. You know they're legitly rapping. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Future's Future doing shit at 
40 years old that, you know, he, he still, still sound like he's 20 something. Right, yeah, he's right. still he's still he's still in the club. He's still doing what shit I'm doing. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. So like I think that it, you know, it's certain it's, it's a certain point. I think music is to a point where it's just like you like I think I don't think it should be as I don't know, it's 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 to the point where it's like it, it's not making it fun no more. In certain aspects. Like grant mm. like the Grammy should be different, bro. It's so many albums yeah. that should it's so many things that it's just like, man, y'all not even taking into accountability of how good certain music is, bro. Right. Like, yeah. It's so many people out here. Grammys and Oscars are crazy. Mm-hmm. It is so yeah. Bro, it's yeah. so weird, bro. And it, and it sucks when you give a fuck about it. Right. Yeah. It sucks, bro. Like, it sucks. It's like, even the Roddy Rich new shit, people are downplaying that shit. And it's just like, bro, the only reason y'all downplaying this album is because he didn't drop when y'all wanted him to. Yeah. I, I, but I mean, I think, I think, I think, like, not to really speak on Roddy, but you can see how, like, his, he's, he's different. Bro, that nigga went diamond. Yeah. yeah, but I'm talking like since you know since the last album, you can see like his lifestyle change. He's oh, yeah. he getting a lot and higher. He's young as fuck. He getting he, he getting high as fuck. Though. But he's young as a bitch yeah. though, bro. Yeah. No, imagine yeah. it go diamond when you're 22. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's all day. <laughs> or 22 or 23. Yeah, that's yeah. Mm-hmm. So now you expect everything to be diamond. Yeah, right. it's hard. <laughs> yeah, so how, no, let's speak on that then. Yeah, um, yeah we not talk, but no, I'm talking, no, I'm talking just, no, I'm talking, no, I'm talking about just for <laughs> for you. How do you feel? I mean, this is because I mean, for me, that's another thing that fucked me up. Because you make was a, making my age like, bro, you thirty, da da da, and then and then so, I'm just like, bro, that shit was discouraging at first. Mm. Like I'd be thirty one this year, so I'm like, am I done with this shit? Right. Like, but then I realized, like, Anderson ain't get popped until he was 32, 33. I mean, don't, look, Charlie Lowe came out at 40. Yeah, but, but it's just like, <laughs> I was letting the age shit, that was what, that was what was really fucking my mind up. The age shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. the last album, shit, fuck him, I ain't with the label no more, so I can say what I want. Right. The last album had Black on it, Ty Dolla Sign. We had black. We had Todd Dollar Sign. We was, we had a Shanti record. We had um, man, it was just so many records that we had for the last album that was supposed to come out. And then I'm like, bitch, I'm 28, 27. Like, we selling <laughs> this shit about to go. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. I got records with, and then it never came out. So now I'm like, I got to a point where I was making music trying to sound like. The younger motherfuckers that was out. And then I was just, one day I said, when I made Finally Free, actually, the song, I was just like, age is a mindset. Right. Like, mm-hmm. let me do me. People, I, I, I forgot why people fell in love with my music in the fucking first place, because it was transparent as fuck. You heard my music and was like, God damn, I'm going through that same fucking shit. Right. So that's another thing about the upcoming motherfuckers. Don't let this, please don't let this shit get to y'all heads, bro. Real talk, bro. Like, y'all favorite artists that y'all listening to now are gonna be 30 one day. What? Like, my favorite artist, like 41 right now. Kid Cudi is, that's my favorite artist. Mm -hmm. Frank, we ain't heard shit from Frank. None of that. Mm -hmm. But, I don't think we getting shit from Frank. (laughs) Frank said, fuck us. Yeah, like, like, I'm out. But Cudi's still going crazy. It's just, I mean, look at Jay and Beyonce. But uh, granted, they established. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think I made that project yet that has established me to where it's like, okay, it's a lot of people that know who the fuck I am, for sure. But I think this project is going to ha- have that effect to where it's like, okay, bet. Mm-hmm. That's the okay bet project. Like, wow. Right. This nigga's not playing. Let's go. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? You have mm-hmm. to you have to give people something to buy into and believe and, and and take it and run with it and want to and want to be behind you no matter what. Like 
straight like that. I can say some other shit, but it's just like. <laughs> How do you like remain authentic as an artist when the whole world take, around you is just you changing breaks. constantly? And <laughs> and 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 change is the only consistent thing, so there's nothing wrong with changing. Right. Just because people don't accept your change, that don't mean shit. Like, I thought people was going to fucking shoot me down for these things take time. And that shit was number one on iTunes the first night it dropped. Mm-hmm. Then that pe- that project saved people's lives and da 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 da, and I thought people was gonna shoot me down for that because I wasn't rapping as much as I was on Happy Related. So I changed. I grew. I came up into some money. Mm-hmm. I bought my first. Pro- I bought my first crib. I, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. people be scared of that shit. People mm-hmm. be scared of change, bro. People be scared of like. It's like, look at Kanye, bro. He's basically made the same album. He's just done it in a different way. Mm. Like, you can't say you don't like Yeezus, but love graduation. <laughs> because it's, it's that man speaking his truth. Mm-hmm. College dropout and late registration is the same thing. Just done in a different way. Right. You can't. Like, this is our process. Like, this is our process. Like, Mm -hmm. we trusted y'all enough to put this out to the fucking world. And if you don't like it, like he said, press fast forward. Right. But I think music grows. Yeah, eventually. I don't want want an artist. Like, you know, that's like, my favorite artist is Jeezy, but, you know, like, his last project is him growing. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hear, I don't want to hear about him still trapping because. We know you're not trapping no more. Right. Like you, you're you're a mil- you're a multi-millionaire. I I would hope you won't be trapping. I mean, if you are, then I mean, touche. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then also you know, like you can tell when you're, like it's tough for artists, bro. Because sometimes we just be making shit off. Here's going another thing. Everything ain't for everybody to hear it mm-hmm. either. Like certain shit we don't have to put out to the world. Like certain shit be trial and error. But I think as like. I, some of my favorite artists, I still love the albums that I didn't like as much as I did the other ones. Got to grow with them, bro. Mm-hmm. Man, I, that happens to me all the time. Yeah, Whereas sometimes like you, you... Like, because <laughs> Damn is my favorite Kendrick album. Mm-hmm. You had to grow into it? Or no, was it like just, originally it, it, off the rip? People, and people also fail, fail to realize there's a difference between favorite and best. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like to pimp a Bu- to pimp a butterfly. People hated that album for whatever reason. That's one, yeah. And it's amazing. That's hard, yeah. That's hard. Like, mm. I don't know. I think music is becoming like religion and politics. A lot of like, you gotta be careful are, who you discuss yeah. it with. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> to each his own. Like, I don't get when people say they don't like certain shit from me. Who am I to fuck? The, who am I? That's your opinion. Right. That shit used to irk me. Oh, this album was this, this, that, and third. I'd be like, man, fuck you. I used to DM niggas. <laughs> Where you live at? Y'all trying to link up? Like, right. We can fight right now. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but like, now it's just like, bro, people can't be mad at people for that, bro. Like, people got, that's, that's their shit. Opinions. Right. They got, that's, now if people had to pay for opinions, it'd be a different thing. <laughs> right, right. If you had to pay for every opinion you made, people would have less opinions. That's a good point. <laughs> That's like, a good point. But anyway, man, we got this. Yeah. Music is music. Like, I'm, 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 I'm at the point now to where I'm, I'm making this shit because this is what I'm good at. And if I wasn't good at it, then I, I don't think I still have the longevity and certain records that I have. I don't mm-hmm. think, nigga, I was on Spider-Man, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't have offers that I have right now. I wouldn't have that, like, it is what it is, bro. Right. No, I took a break. I went to the G League, pretty much. <laughs> 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 like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm dead. Like, I was chilling. Right. This shit is... This shit about to be monumental, what I'm about to do. 
It really is. So yeah, we going let's touch on like I know you kinda you you excited for the next thing that's coming. Um so tell you know, tell the people what, what they have to look forward to from you or what, you know, just hey, everything. Look, what what's what's I ain't stopping, bro. Mm-hmm. Like it'll never be another break. It'll never it'll never be another break. Mm-hmm. It will never be another oh, we ain't heard from Chad shit in, in two, three years. Nah, mm-hmm. it'll never be that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it'll never <clears throat> It's going to be consistency from here on out. And it's going to be quality. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be on my terms. So it's not, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. it's just like, I really do what the fuck I want. Because I know what I'm doing going into the next situations. Like, I know what to say. I know like, nobody can speak for me mm-hmm. unless we all on the same terms as far as when we speak and when we go in there. You know what I'm saying? Right, like. Right. I got a verse that I can't wait till people hear, and I'm saying like, basically like I I was too accessible. Mm-hmm. I let people speak for me when they shouldn't have, even if they had the best interests or whatever it is. Like, it's on my terms now, mm. and even you with it or you're not, and that's fine if you're not. Right. Cause this shit not this shit, and that's enough people. <clears throat> That's another thing people gotta know. This shit don't stop for nobody. This shit don't stop mm. for a soul. None of this shit. Music. Life. Like yeah, this shit don't stop for nobody. So we gotta stop taking shit so personal. Personal. Person personal. Personal. God damn. Mm-hmm. Personal is what I mean. <laughs> we gotta say, yeah. We gotta stop taking taking shit so personal. Like it is what it is. Unless we give people that accessibility to where you have the, I guess, right to take that personal, then cool. But yeah. this music shit, I ain't taking that shit personal no more. Just having fun with I it. I used to get mad. I send niggas verses and I ain't get it back. I'm like, all right, babe, when I see when I see one of y'all niggas, y'all better not speak. <laughs> right. And then still speak to him when I say, what's good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this shit is a game, bro, but it's like, it's, it's all in how you play it. All right. It's like high school. The industry is like high school, bro. Mm-hmm. Niggas be popular one day. Here today, gone tomorrow. It, it is what it is. Yeah. So yeah. it's like high school, bro. <laughs> it sucks, but it is what it is, bro. So how soon can we get this? This new music, man. How soon is, are you gonna push it out, man? What's the how soon we gonna get some, man? <laughs> Y'all gonna get fine. Y'all gonna get the first single soon. Okay. We 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 doing it. I hate that. I sound like a typical rapper. It's coming soon. <laughs> it's coming soon. Yeah, <laughs> but nah. Uh, before April. Okay. Before April. We gonna have finally free. We gonna have the first single out before April. All right. That's all right. We'll be waiting for it, man. Yeah. Um, we appreciate you. Um, for coming out, rapping with for us sure. today, man. We said um, a lot. We gonna yeah. have to edit a lot of this shit. <laughs> 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 we gonna yeah, have to man. go through Nah for sure Anytime bro like, For sure man This is the bros Like we I can come up here all the time Definitely I should've, Y'all should have me up here on shrooms Y'all ain't got me that <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like Alright man We just come back tomorrow bro <laughs> like, We were t- talking about movies <laughs> <laughs> You said what bro <laughs> Nah, hey, brother Mike sure. moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I Somebody grab the mic, bro. It's your flow, nigga. Yeah. Nah, we, you about to hear a couple of these records, though. All right, let's get it, man. For sure. Today we got Richmond's very own, the chosen one, Emmanuel Lean with us. The champ is here. The champ is here. The grit that you get out of me when you see me fight is that Richmond grit, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you, it's gonna build you to be tough, regardless, you know? Like, you can think you can be casual about it, but you, you don't learn, you can deal with it. You gotta walk by us every day. 